All right, this is to fix a Wii that constantly ejects a disc right after you put it in. Usually it comes with like a crunching noise, not really a grinding, but it, it'll it sound like it's doing more work than it should. Um, to open your Wii and everything to get the drive out, you know, there's a lot of videos on YouTube for that, but um, you will need a tri-wing and then a Philips as well as something to get the stickers off. I usually use a razor blade. Um, but there's other things to use. Um, and I've already opened this up, taken it out, opened it up. Phillips screws. Just for this, you don't need the tri wing um, because you just have the Phillips screws on top. There is five of them. And you're going to want to take this piece out to replace. I've already taken it out because it's kind of hard to do with one hand. Um, it's just a little clip that you want to push in, push in, and then pull up on the rod. And you can inspect your uh, part to see what type of repair you need to do on it. A lot of them just are messed up and spin freely about the rod when they're supposed to be stuck in place. Also, I've noticed some that were cracked. Um, and spin freely or that they're just cracked so those ones you might want to just replace um, you can also put a little bit of glue on the end as the other side already should have some um, and that should keep it in place although I prefer just completely replacing it if you have the part um, if you're a game buyer and seller you should you know have a spare Wii line around you know I usually just take the failed laser wheeze and throw those to the side because I usually don't have time to you know replace just the laser because it's kind of time consuming um, so I just use it for parts and you know making one broken one broken wee to make another working one usually is fine by me um, but yeah it's a pretty simple fix to something I kinda didn't know how to do for a long time um, if you have any questions please let me know.